Hi, in this video of GIMP Beginner's Guide, we're going to discuss our path tool. Now, um, in the next video, we'll get to see some practical ways of using this tool. But here, we'll discuss our options. Now, this tool have, has options here. Also, it has some other additional options in this tab here. Let's delete that. Um, now, the way you start a path is you select this edit mode, design, and then you click, click, and you create your path. Now, if you're in polygonal mode, you get to work only with polygons. If you switch that off, you get and you get to edit mode, you get to draw out these handles, and you have additional control of your path. In move mode, you get to move your path. Now let's go back to edit mode. Um, another thing, if you want to remove a point, you made a mistake, you want to remove this point, click uh, down control and shift key and you get this minus sign and you just remove the point. Now, uh, to escape this path, you have to delete it. You have to select it from this tab and delete it. Now let's make again, now here, if you switch that polygon off, when you start to create a path, you can uh, click and hold the mouse and get these handles. And you can create some flexible path. If you want to undo this point here, you just click Control Z. Now the way you uh, make a selection from a path, let's delete that path. Let's say we make this path and we put this point here to close it. Selection from path and now we have our selection. We can delete our path and just work with our selection. We can also uh, make a path from a selection by using this button here or here to path. Let's try that. To make that path visible, we click the here and then we can see our path. We have a lot of points here. Let's delete that, deselect. Let's make another path really quickly. Now here in this tab, we have the ability to create a new path. Let's make, you can make them visible or invisible. We have the ability to move, let's just create one real quick, to move one path up or down on the stack here. You get the ability to duplicate a path. Also path to selection, we saw that. Or selection to path. We have the ability to stroke this path. Also from here, let's just select this path. You can stroke it, you get this dialog, and you can stroke the path. Then if you hide it, you see how you stroke the path with our foreground color. You can change that color, we'll discuss this later. And you can also delete that path. Stroking a path, you can do that also from, um, from here, edit, stroke a path. You get the same dialog box, or from here, or from here. There's three places you can bring out that dialog box to stroke path. Now that's basically all the options for this tool. You switch between these modes to make your path your desired shape. Now in our next video we will take a look at practical uses of this tool.